first you have a speaker and the reason you have a speaker it doesn't have to be this one is so that you can hear what's going on inside of the room if there is any announcements or it's your turn to get on stage next you're going to need an xlr to headphone cable this connects your speaker to your phone this here is a powered usb hub with four expansion slots and this powered usb hub provides more than enough power to juice up that mic next you're going to need a lightning cable to usb adapter of course you're going to need your samson g track pro microphone and behind the microphone there is a baffle this baffle is to remove any ambient noises so you put the mic directly into that baffle and last but not least you need your phone and people are not going to see this anyway so this is the way i had it set up i have it on a box taped and you want to set it roughly at eye level this isn't at eye level this is more at the seated level right now but that's up to you which if you want to put books underneath it or a cooler or whatever to get it at eye level when you're competing standing up that's good this here is perfect if you're seated you get your xlr to headphone cable and you connect this side to your powered speaker Make sure your volume is set to zero. You get your USB hub and connect it to the lightning to USB adapter. You connect your USB microphone to your USB hub. Any one of these expansions will do. So you plug it in. You make sure to power that on and as you can see the power light indicator here on the microphone turned on letting you know that it's got enough juice and it's ready to go you connect this headphone jack where it's labeled headphone and this is the wire that goes to your speaker and the reason that's important is because number one you want to hear yourself Number two, you want to be able to hear what's going on inside of the room. Now I'm going to tap on a microphone to make sure that I can hear it coming out of the speaker. Yep, I can hear it perfectly. And you want to make sure this monitor is turned on so that they can hear your voice inside of the room. And also so that you can hear what's taking place inside of the room on your speaker. And the way I have mine set depends on every system. In my case, I set my microphone volume at 12 o'clock. And typically that's pretty good. That's perfect. It's perfectly set for me. And then I set the volume, which is down here. It says volume. This is how much volume you're going to hear coming from the room. So you can either lower it or raise it. In my case, I leave it at between 9 10 and 11 o'clock and my speaker volume which i'm going to show you right now is set at nine o'clock you can raise that depends on you if you want to hear them a little bit louder raise the volume but just be careful you don't get any feedback because your voice is going to come through this microphone out of the speaker you see that light right there that's because it's receiving a signal and it's coming out of the speaker that tapping sound once all your levels are set, you want to set this to cardioid, which is only going to receive a signal from right here in front of the microphone, which is the only place you want it to come in from anyway, because you're going to be sitting or standing in front of this microphone. Don't put it on Omni. Don't put it on figure eight. Keep it on cardioid and it will pick up only sound right here in the front. 
On the right side, don't even worry about this mono or two track. I just set it on mono so it's one channel. And, and right here, if you don't want anybody to hear you, you, you need to go somewhere real quick. Press the mute and the color of the light will change. You're back, you're back and you're ready to compete. There you go. And once you're done setting your microphone, put it against the baffle as far back as you can so that it doesn't pick up any ambient noise from back here. And if you think there's a lot of echo in your room, put some of the cloth on top of the microphone, not in front, on top only. Now it is picking up everything that's happening here in front. After you've done all of that, get your phone ready and plug in the lightning adapter. If you log into Zoom before connecting all of this, it won't recognize the USB microphone. So do not log into Zoom before you connect anything. Now, once you have everything connected exactly the way I shared with you, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and join that Zoom meeting. It's gonna ask you if you wanna use, if you wanna call using internet audio, you're gonna say, you're gonna choose that of course. Now you probably can't see me clearly, but Good luck with your competition, and once again, see you on that final stage.